recently it just um just get you know see what i if i can get an upregulate because i hate microneedling so i was like all right maybe i could sh- try to switch it and i had mm-hmm. a extreme telogen effluvium from a tretinoin so far and oh. of course uh, i feel like that's normal but like very sensitive scalp like my scalp got like like i'd use in my conditioner i have peppermint oil in it and I, 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 it was so cold, like in those areas, like if, yeah, I could feel oh, like my skin was yeah. so much more sensitive. So that's my, my experience. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'll continue it, but we'll see. Like, I don't know, like some people are really against like microneedling thing. And, you know, I, I don't think it's the healthiest thing, maybe like down the line, but I've had great results from it. I think I grew back the most hair from microneedling, microneedling in minoxidil. And also it's like a pretty cheap alternative, you know, compared oh, to yeah. tretinoin. Uh, do you use dermapen or like a derma stamp or my a derma roller or that doctor I pen I okay like this the, the, the derma sorry what is it called the doctor pen or something uh yeah it's something like that hold on let me look at the exact name here it's actually yeah it's something similar it's like a full full blown machine i think it was uh what is this called here yeah it's derminator two okay yeah the datic one yeah the the one that uses static that it uses it yeah, I think uh, when you use the derma roller, it's just so bad because the traction, the you know, the movement going up and down. I think that's that's what's likely to cause more of a you know fibrosis kind yeah, of healing. Yeah. yeah, scarring here healing. Okay. Also, we'll the the penetration is different. If you look at there's one study that I found some years ago that showed how when you do microneedling with the same needle length. Um, it's the penetration is different between like vertical penetration like derma stamp and derma pens mm-hmm. when compared to the derma roller which doesn't have that much of a penetration so I think people should keep in mind when they apply some protocol from a study but they use a different tool to microneedle exactly so if you find us like the difference I think was 25 percent of penetration so they should take that into account because it penetrates less. And also, yeah, what you pointed out, Kyle, is a very nice observation. Like the way it works when you roll it, it could create much larger holes. And yeah, that could be a problem maybe. Yeah, of course. We don't have long-term data. And I dropped microneedling after three or six months, I don't remember. But yeah, I didn't lose any gains after stopping it. So that was good. There was that one study with topical dutasteride. This was from, I think, Mexico, where they used the Dr. Pen, the, I think it's the vertical stamper, microneedler. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you can see, like, at least in the results, in the area where the dutasteride, topical dutasteride was applied, and where they used this microneedling device, this machine, <clears throat> you know, this person clearly got a high absorption of it just by using it weekly mm-hmm. or once a week. So, so yeah, definitely, yeah. 